Okay, so now we have the source end extracted from the back of the microscope. And this is the extractor that surrounds the LMIS. And it's hard to tell, but there's a very fine needle point there. And that's the actual ion source. So you want to not touch that at all. And then we'll take a 564 hex wrench and unscrew these two bolts right here. Notice we are doing this on a sheet of aluminum foil and that's again to keep everything as clean as possible. And the faster you can do this the better. So this is the extractor with the LMIS in it. I'll put it under the light here. And these two copper pins are what make contact with the LMIS which provide the heat when it's operating. You want to be very careful not to touch this end because that's where the LMIS is. And so hold it so when you release these two additional bolts the LMIS doesn't fall out. You don't want to unscrew it this way, you want to unscrew it this way. So using the same wrench remove these two screws and this retaining top hat piece can be removed and that's just pushing the LMIS down and using some nice tweezers go ahead and reach in and grab one of the posts and you want to lift out as straight as possible. If you cock it to one side or the other you can bang the tip of the LMIS ruining it. Even though it's been depleted it can be re-wet and used again. So we'll very carefully grab the post and lift it straight out. And there we go. And that's the depleted LMIS. So we'll set this aside in a secure location. And we have our new freshly re-wet LMIS here and we'll replace it back the exact way we took one out. And this one has a little chip in it and that's fine for in-house. It won't matter. And replace it the same way you got the other one out. Again, being very careful to go straight in. You don't want to bang the walls with the tip. Okay, and notice we have these posts in line with the screw holes, which will allow us to line up with the contact posts when we put it back in. So we'll replace the extractor back the way we found it. And if you have it lined up perfectly, it may take a little futzing with to get those posts to line up exactly. But you want it kind of bouncing. That way you know you're touching those. Okay, so now it's ready to be reinserted. So these two guide pins are going to line up with these two holes here. Got it. And, uh, yeah, this is the extractor and that's the suppressor in there and we're not going to replace that, so. This is kind of difficult to do. And also you have these guide posts here. So there's really only, only one way to put this in there. But you can kind of feel, feel your way in there. Might take a little bit of wiggling, there we go. Go ahead and put these four bolts back in. Okay, so now we have the source end resecured back onto the column, and we can take our handy fluke meter, put these uh, these special probes here, and we can check continuity between these five ports. So the top two are filament, and this is um, L for I don't know extractor and suppressor. So we should find that there's continuity on the filament, which is good, meaning we hit the LMS on those two points of contact. If you don't hear, 
you don't have continuity here, your LMIS posts aren't touching. And then we should make sure that we don't have continuity anywhere else between any other combination, which means you're touching somewhere, which is not what you want. So we don't see any other continuity, and we'll just double check again that the LMIS is connected. So that's good, we're running current through the source. We can go ahead and put the high tension cap back on. All right, now we'll remember how we set this in the first way, and it'll be the reverse. So these five high voltage contacts need to make it into these five holes, which is a little tricky because they are squishy. But going carefully, should be able to line them up. And you can kind of feel them you can bounce around until you hit them. And there we go, just like that. And we'll take our two bolts and reattach everything. There we go. And now we'll crank back up the sump. And we can go ahead and pump the chamber. So we'll just go ahead and let the chamber pump down. Great, thanks John. Yeah, coffee break.